How's it going, guys? This is Soul Sims here. And if I sound tired, it's because I am very, very tired right now. But I'm still going to go through with this video. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I do this series weekly where I give my predictions and then my thoughts on each episode, each battle of each episode of BattleBots. So I start off with the predictions, then afterwards I watch the episode, and then I give my thoughts on each battle. So if you haven't seen it and don't want to be spoiled, then don't watch this video. So first up we got Slapbox versus Tombstone. I'm going to go with Tombstone because Slapbox is a new team, don't know much about it, but for their quote-unquote first fight being against Tombstone, they must have something going for them, so, uh, but still, I gotta, gotta go with Ray Billings and Tombstone. Next up, we got Slammo versus Pain Train. Don't know a whole, whole lot about either one, but Slammo sounds really cool with it being a suplexing robot, so I'm gonna go with Slammo. Scorpios versus Perfect Phoenix. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with Perfect Phoenix. Uh, just because why not? I feel like this one could go either way. I mean, we did see Perfect Phoenix get a, a pretty, pretty good KO. But we really didn't get to see the power of Perfect Phoenix because uh, it was just like a lucky shot that probably knocked some internals loose. And, um, fuck, who they fought? Um, Extinguisher. Yeah, that's who they fought. Um, next, we got Mad Catter versus Ribot. To me, I have to, these are both modular bots, so I don't know what to expect from this match. And it looks like, to me, it could go either way. But I I like Ribot more, so I'd want to see them win. But realistically, Mad Catter had a very impressive win against Fusion, so I'm gonna go with Matt. Oh my God, I cannot draw a circle. Mad Catter, good enough. Yeah, like I said, I want Ribot to win, but I feel like Mad Catter will get the W here. Next up, we got Gamma 9 versus Chomp. I'm going with Chomp because 500 pound walking Chomp looks like an absolute beast. I saw a small clip of it firing its hammer, and its hammer has enough force to lift it off the ground, which is literally insane considering that this thing weighs 500 pounds now. And especially since it's not really going up against a spinner on its first match, bodes really well for Chomp, and I feel like they did that on purpose, so Chomp will win. So I feel like Chomp's going to come away with a W here, and it'll be a really fun fight to see. Next up, we got Shatter versus Malice. I'm going to go with Malice. Malice looked absolutely incredible against... Um, acts backwards so yeah I'm going with Malice Bloodsport versus Endgame another one I feel like could go either way and I'm giving it to Bloodsport because even though they're a full body spinner which I'm typically not a fan of Bloodsport's driving was very very impressive in their first match against um Whoever it was they fought, I can't remember right now. And in game, yeah, they got the W against Tombstone. It was kind of a lucky hit that knocked him out of the arena. Still a very good machine. In game could win, but I'm going to go with Bloodsport on this one. So these are my predictions, and I will see you guys in a second after I watch the episode. Well, I got 6 out of 7 correct, which is my best prediction record so far for an episode. And I'm really starting to feel like some of these fights are fixed up in favor of one. Um, especially Chomp and Tombstone's fights, which I'll get into. So yeah, Tombstone versus Slapbox. I originally thought 
that slap box must have had something special about it for it going up against Tombstone in its first match. But not really. I feel like they just put him up against Tombstone to give Tombstone an easy victory. Kind of like a classic Tombstone match like Tombstone against Counter-Revolution or Radioactive where he just absolutely obliterated them. And that's what we saw. I mean, Slapbox did have a couple impressive moments at the very beginning. But once Tombstone just started going at them, they just tore them apart. And yeah, I, I don't think Slapbox is that bad of a robot. It's just they're going up against Tombstone in their first match. And typically, they'll take rookie bots and put them against other rookie bots or lower tier returning bots. You know, like, um, I think last year Rainbow's first fight was against Nelly the Ellie Bot and another newcomer. And it had a pretty impressive victory, so its next match was against Yeti. And that's what they'll, they'll typically do. They don't typically start uh, no-name first year bots against high tier bots like tombstone but i feel like they did that just to give tombstone an easy victory and to give tombstone a fight where he could just obliterate his opponent to make it look good for the fans pain train versus slamo i didn't realize how flawed pain train's design really was because to me it already it already looked kind of weird but seeing it just teeter-totter like it does, it just really looks like a really flawed design. And we did see Slamo get a pretty impressive suplex. That was honestly one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. So, yeah. <laughs> Slamo looked very impressive. And Pain Train, uh, I'm not too sure about. Perfect Phoenix versus Scorpios. I said I felt like this one could go either way, and Scorpios just dominated the match from the get-go, never really let Perfect Phoenix spin up too much, and then Perfect Phoenix's weapon just kind of died a little ways into the fight. I still wouldn't count Perfect Phoenix out, though. They still... I feel like we could still see them have a couple more impressive wins, so yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to see what happens from here. But Scorpios looked very good. Um, and yeah. Next, Ribot versus Mad Catter. I predicted Mad Catter would win because they looked so impressive against Fusion. But I personally wanted Ribot to win, though I still predicted that Mad Catter would win. And they did win very impressively. And I think now there shouldn't be any doubt in people's mind that Mad Catter. It was a pretty good bot. Like I feel like they could go pretty far this year and possibly get a giant <laughs> nut within the next couple years. So, yeah, very, very impressive. Chomp versus Gammon 9. I again said that this one looked like it was kind of fixed up in favor of Chomp going up against the lifter. And first of all, I'm going to say the fact that Gammon 9 was even able to lift this 500 pound beast was impressive. And another thing I didn't realize, I Chomp is very slow. I didn't realize exactly how slow it really was until actually seeing it out in the arena. But that hammer is devastating. Though I'm still, they were hyping it up like it's the future. And I still think Walking Chomp is an amazing technological feat. And I do want to see it go far. I'm just not fully sold on walking chomp yet and now if it goes up against a flipper or a spinner like if it goes up against someone like witch doctor or tombstone or hydra and boats and it goes pretty well for them then i'll be sold but until we see a, a spinner go up against this little band of armor around it i'm not 100 percent sold and next we had malice versus shatter another somewhat controversial judge's decision and, I mean, it is what it is. In my eyes, it looked like a pretty even match. I, 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 I feel like that one could have went either way. But, yeah. It is what it is. Endgame versus Bloodsport. Bloodsport looked very impressive. And they have... There's driving. They have very, very skilled driving, which is key for a full body spinner because of how much energy there is 
and how they can do just as much damage to themselves as their opponent if you have somewhat careless driving. And they have such skill driving. And I honestly feel like Bloodsport could go all the 